Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, July the 30th, 1851, the Natchez Free Trade reported there had been, and I quote, several bold riders at the Natchez Landing, including an attempt to rob Dr. D.W. Deal, Esquire of New Orleans. Mr. Deal, it seems, arrived on the hill on the last trip of the boat to Cuba and had his truck cut from behind a hired hack almost before the carriage had turned the corner from the boat to come up the hill. The truck was found broken, and $900 in gold was missing. On the previous trip of the Cuba, a man boarded the boat, pointed to the trunk, ordering one of the waiters to carry it ashore. The vigilant clerk of the ship discovered what was going on, and he went on shore, stopped the trunk, and struck the pretended owner several times with his fist, before snatching a whip and giving him a good lashing. At the same time, another packet boat stopped in Natchez, and the gentleman went to the washroom for five minutes. Upon his return, he found his gold watch and some $90 he had left on the pillow were gone. A free trader noted that the character of Natchez is somewhat implicated on the felonious proceedings. At least two of the sleepy dunderheads who draw pay and pretend the city watchman to assign to the Natchez Landing every night. Paper was quoted that any man with half an eye can detect the rogue who have no business on or near a boat where it lands in the night. The trader continued, there was a deep and angry feeling prevalent amongst the honest citizens of the landing. The watchman should prevent war threat from rushing on board and send the passenger to and from the boat to perfect security. This is John David Montgomery, Nat this I'm a mayor on the hill, doing your Natchez History Minute.